Oh, Kirby, you're so stupid. Oh, yeah, it is on the spirit board. Whoops. All right, enough of Nick for now. Now to have ruined all of my Smash skills. <laughs> now it's like riding a bike. Yeah, one of them has SpongeBob on it. I would like Squidward, actually. Though most of the humor around Squidward involves him getting hurt, so it's a bit of a stretch for a moveset. Well, uh, I know you said you didn't really want to talk about it, but um, they did find reference to a clarinet and an exploding pie in the save in the files. Yeah. So uh, there's something about Squidward. I gotta change all my audio levels again because now Smash is gonna be really quiet. Hmm. Thank goodness they stopped doing the events where it was like, um, you only have, you can only get it for these certain time periods. Well, even after that, oh. you could always, they would show up in the shop or something. Uh, yeah. The next pack. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get Monster Hunter Rise on my Switch. I gotta have like a, whatever Monster Hunter game it was, because I need to get that last spirit. Wasn't there something recently where you could get something by having a save file on your? It's the Kingdom Hearts thing. Yeah, an extra song, which and that song is and that game is sixty dollars. The things that the Kingdom Hearts franchise does to get you to buy spin-off games. <laughs> well, the spin-off game is canon. They are all canon. You got to have the full lore experience. Let's get that battle arena up and running. Maybe I just forgot what levels I had set for Smash. So you said you're hosting an arena, right? Yeah, uh, it's hosted. There you are, Zelly Boy. That's what I'll call you now. Zelly Boy, me Bob! <sighs> you can see I'll be starting with Korra. I'm, uh, I'm Donkey Kong. The PC version went on sale for the launch week as well. It was like $40, I think. Yeah, which is the same price if I would have gotten it physically. Actually, the Switch version had a sale as well, but only for a single day. Oh, I was hoping that would get you. You know, weirdly enough, I can suddenly feel the buffer. can. Isn't that weird? Oh, I didn't hit ground fast enough for the super armor to start. Donkey Kong matchup is actually very divisive as Ganon's. Mm -hmm. I think fighting him is fun. A lot of people it seem really, to think I it's mean, really you, you against... Fight, I'm probably the DK main you fight the most. And I'm super predictable. Which probably has something to do with it. Well, it's more to do with the 
Like, if he gets you with the grab, you're, you're dead because of Ganon's recovery. Oh, okay. Oh, take it! Entire. <laughs> I'll give you a million dollars for that spike. I don't know. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Please! Don't do it! You killed me anyway, just because of my recovery! <laughs> <laughs> no, we fixed his problems. He's fine <laughs> now! <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> Five N one J V. You fool. You fool! Oh, you made it. Yep. You fool! Oh, okay, that was a mistake. Ah. Oh, just barely missed. I can't. I, I can't wait for uh, Sora's stage to come out, and every it be it, to be illegal because people say it has a distracting background. Oh, I know, but I'm so happy that like I can run it just fine, anyways. It does look like a nice legal looking stage. I'm curious. What? What? Do we know what it's similar to in layout? Uh, Spring Stadium. Man, I started Ooh. this match so well. Foolish! <laughs> yeah? Oh, shoot. Yeah? You didn't come get me, no, so I, I didn't need to. <laughs> Why don't you try wave dashing? Ready? Honestly, I could think of a strafe move being very useful in Smash. Yeah. I didn't, I forgot it existed during the next stream, but it. In the presentation, it seemed like a, a cool idea that would be useful in this game. See, I use it a lot for Ren and Stimpy because their one of their neutral air is different depending on who's in front. Stimpy's is bigger, so you would want that to be in front. So this is the first uh, Friday. I, I have today off. There's no school today. So this is the first time I've been able to come to a Smash stream in a little while. What were uh, what were your thoughts on Sora and everything? Oh, I, I was mostly like, uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Not what I wanted, but it rarely is, you know. I'm happy so, whenever a, uh, a super popular pick. Gets I into the was game. not expecting him to be the winner of the ballot. I was expecting that title to go to Ridley. Even though he had such, like, a huge lead on the fan ballot? Yeah. I wonder what it was, though, because I never really saw Sora as being such a hugely requested character like that back then. Because maybe it's just... It's probably got more to do with my own 
personal communities that I was in. I didn't see him as particularly more or less requested than a lot of other characters, but... I would, if anyone was going to believe the, win the poll, I would believe it to be, he could be a candidate. No, I, I totally under, I could totally see that happening. It's just, I was surprised because I didn't, I, like when I was thinking about, the poll was five, it was six years ago, you know, like the gaming landscape was different six years ago. Among Us didn't exist. We were lost. He's also not the m most terribly interesting character for the game mechanically, but then neither would Crash be. No. I'm glad it's over, because now we can start just working on uh, optimizing our characters and just and figuring out who's actually, like, really good, you know? Got one more balance patch to wait for. Woohoo! Uh, maybe two, if we're lucky, but you're right. That's the worst part. Uh, Smash 4 got one after Bayonetta, and then it got another one after that one, because Bayonetta was still too bad. Yeah. And she ended the game still being obscene. Going back, I've been playing nothing but Nickelodeon All-Stars for like three days. So going back is definitely throwing me for a loop here. Shut up, Tox. She says we were both autopiloting. Who cares about autopilot? The plane still gets there. You uh, seem go. to have run out of wings there, my friend. Arena's open oh, if you would like to join us, Tox. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, there's no walking in Nickelodeon All-Stars as well. Not that, like, I can't really speed. think of very many reasons why you'd want to. Uh... In Smash, you can do things out of the walking animation faster than the running. Oh, okay. That wasn't always the case, right? Is that new to Ultimate? I don't I don't know. I know in terms of Ganon, it's significant enough that y you usually want to walk to close distance as opposed to run. But Ganon you run all anyway. the help he can get. Oh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm impatient you, as hell. You run anyway. <laughs> you run anyway. That's what good just... Ganons do. <laughs> or you just use a uh, flame choke. You can tell the really bad Ganons by how much they use Whiz Kick, and I use it a lot. Yeah. How about the Brawlers? Oh, dang, I was gonna go for the spike. Well, Brawler is a combo character who's meant to rack up his damage by using those, but I don't know no combos, so I just suplex. Oh, okay, that was real stupid. <laughs> how did Nazby go? It, it was a game. I don't know how I much like more it. I'll be playing, playing it. I, after an hour and a half, I never got used to the controls, really. Hmm. I will have to do a lot of learning if I continue to play the game. Ready? Doesn't have Banjo and Kazooie, so... But it does have Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> I mean, you notice Ren and Stimpy basically has Banjo side smash, except it spikes. Yeah. God, I hope that uh, Sora's classic mode includes a Duck Hunt as his ally in every match. Dog and the duck. Yeah, no, I get it. You fool. You 
did it again. That. Oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Nasby. Well, how do you say it? Little Nas. Wait for you to use Wonder Wing. I know you want to. There, I did it. Why did? Why Are does that keep working? <laughs> that shouldn't work. <laughs> Are you happy? I Wonder Winged. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, interrupt my suplex. That's all I got. You should have killed- that would have been so funny if you killed yourself there. I know how far it goes. It doesn't stop you. <laughs> I'm not doing good today. <laughs> Today's not a great day for old K rule. I'm laughing, but if I was on the other end of that, I'd be screaming up a storm. I have a lot of people today. I have one. <laughs> you want to share? Played Nasby too long. I've been playing it exactly as long as he has. No, you haven't. Why? Did today. Today, yes. We've got some sort of vibe going on. There's a guy outside. Don't you love neighbors who remove their mufflers? Aren't they the best to have? Uh... For the cars, right? <laughs> <laughs> move, K. Rule, move! I keep trying to do a dash attack, and he won't move! Hey, great. This isn't Nasby. You can't just do that at ledge and get away with it. It's not going to spike, even though it looks now, like it okay, should. Okay, you got back on stage because I tried to jump through the platform to, to go down. Ah! I really wanted a footstool there. I really gotta stop hail marrying down B. I do it because it's fun, not because it's optimal. That sounds about right. Way farther than I thought. Blah, blah, blah. Alex. More like Alex the Lion. What the heck are you doing in my Smash lobby? Is there a reference to something? 
Yes. It's okay. I'll just reference things you've probably never heard of and see what happens. Okay. Just keep going and be like, no, I'm not too old. Three, two, one, hey, all my gamer go. friends talking to me about toe hose. I'm just trying to figure out when everyone got a foot fetish. <laughs> probably around the same time. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Be the Saiyan you were meant to be. The Saiyan? Yeah. He's got kind of Saiyan haircut, except it's red. Oh my gosh, he, he achieved Super Saiyan Rose. It's Rose, plebeian. Whatever. It's Rose, plebeian. Wow! <laughs> You're an idiot! <laughs> You're getting beat up. You're getting beat up. I'm a stock ahead. You're getting beat up. Sorry, am I, am I making you nervous? Fortunately, I have much Kirby experience thanks to Dale. As little as it shows. Slicing and dicing. You could have just grabbed him. Oh, never but mind. It that's worked stronger. Anyway. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Well, I mean, the the sideways blast zone isn't as big as the upward one, so. Bowser doesn't have great kill throws. He can kind of he can combo off off like up throw at low percents, but. Really? Do you think he would? But I guess Bowser's more known for getting thrown than having good kill throws. I mean, you'd think Ganon would have good kill throws too, but. How many times has he thrown Link? Not very many I can think of. And he usually just throws him against a wall and starts taunting him. Pretty sure he threw him in Wind Waker at least. Well, that was a little boy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. And and not the version of Ganon you're playing as. I can't believe Ganon got arrested based off of the word of two children. And executed even. They executed him? Yeah, and that <laughs> in the child timeline. <laughs> Junior, there's something difficult I have to tell you about Mama Peach. I know she's not really my mama. She's Jack Black. I assume you've seen Jack Black as Bowsette. Uh, I've seen drawings. Hmm. Is there like a video? No. There was a video where he was like, did you see the new Five Nights at Freddy's trailer? And then he sang the Living Tombstone song. I'm gonna fuck you softly. Not that one. <laughs> that's you the, created that's, something. That's like the Jack Black Bowsette song. <laughs> that should be a video. I'd watch it. You just said it shouldn't. I said it should. Here, go. Oh, you go. Come on, shield. Good job. Man! <laughs> I'll just go here. Aha! I thought that was a re-grab. No, I landed on the platform. Let me go! I, I did, technically. <laughs> I can't Bowser side you because you get your stupid, tiny little helicopter. Hey! That's Dr. Baron K. Rulenstein to you. 
Obviously, the solution is for me to down B more. <laughs> it's a command grab. It goes through armor. That works. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, you know how funny that would have been if it didn't work? Go away. <laughs> that I'm here to usurp your kingdom is it a kingdom I guess it's he must be because he's a king yeah but the island was sunk did, did they ha I guess there was a Kremlin island wasn't there there's those crocodile isle got sunk at the end of DKC2 because Diddy and Dixie threw K rule into Crocodile Core and it blew up the whole island. And then in DK64, he has a metallic island that he can drive called Krem Isle. There's a weird thing where he, uh, he, he had the king role in Donkey Kong Country 1, but he was... He was on a boat, and yeah. then in the second game, he was, <laughs> he was a, um... He, he was, was suddenly a pirate. A pirate. In a pirate. Castle. He was a pirate in a castle, and then in the third game, he's a mad scient- No, he was a- he was- that was it. He was a pirate in, like, a mechanized machine, and then in the third game, he's a mad scientist in a castle. I guess he did have, like, an airship at the end of, uh, 2. And then The Lost World was just a reference to Jurassic Park. Although there were no dinosaurs in it. Unless you count crumblings, I guess. Imagine that. Imagine your leader suddenly decides, okay, we're all pirates now. Everybody come get your your peg legs and striped pants. He just really liked LARPing. <laughs> and they weren't all on board for DKC3. That's why they didn't go the whole mad scientist route with everything. The Kremlings did look really different in 3, the ones that no, were they there. No, all, they all looked ugly, like really ugly. Yeah. The thing is, in 2, a lot of them were like DKC1 enemies with new clothes. Yeah. Like, a uh, the, the cannon was a clump within a pirate outfit, and then the clomp was a critter in pirate garb, that sort of thing. 1 and 2 definitely kept the the style more, more, more thematically similar. I mean, it makes sense. All of the... All of the main team from DKC 1 and 2 went on to Diddy, do Diddy Kong Racing. And, uh, and, like, there was, like, the B team who was working on DKC 3 instead. Come on, roll in. If I win this one, I'll go back. I want to say that was the Conquer team who was working on DKC 3. That makes sense. And then they would basically go to work on Conquer from 1997 to 2001. I wasn't so much a fan of the cartoony rare. So, what, did you like Perfect Dark and Goldeneye? Uh, no, I liked Donkey Kong Country 1 the most aesthetically, and then it kind of just deteriorated for me over the over time. Mm-hmm. As the series got more cartoony, and then Banjo I happened, think, which um, was kind of the extreme of that. I think 2 is, like, a nice blend because they figured out how to make things stylized. Without, you know, because the first game was like, this is super realistic. We're doing realism, you know? And then the second one was like, sure, we're doing the same art style, but we aren't limited to just do realism because everybody's already seen that. We're not trying to impress people anymore. Yeah, two was fine. Two was a good balance. And then three had some amazing backdrops, but ultimately the character design was a lot more goofy. I, I liked one's, like, realistic kind of ambience that how nice and peaceful everything was aesthetically because it was unique at the time. Mm-hmm. It was just, I guess, like, 
Echo the Dolphin did that, but other than that, oh, man, a Echo lot the of things. There were a lot Echo of cartoony the... scrimblows. Real talk, Echo the Dolphin kind of sucks. Yeah, I, I didn't like the game. Hello. Do you not hurt yourself with that? Uh, or did you just roll at the right time? With the bomb? Yeah, that. Uh, no, it is. it has weird properties similar to, I, I want to say link bombs. There's an ownership property. So when I fire it, it's owned by me, but if you hit it back, then it's owned by you. And if it gets damaged by, I think, like a projectile or some, a few different things, it becomes neutral and can hurt anybody. I see. You know, looking more on it, it is pretty strange that they decided to go the all fours route for K. Rule. It's it's like he's never done that before in yeah. any game. It fits him strangely enough, but it's like he doesn't do that. He's pretty much on all. I could imagine that being like a thing where like in like a movie where K. Rule was upright, but then when he starts to lose, he starts going like bestial. I'm thinking the end of the Great Mouse Detective. Yes. Oh my gosh, I could totally imagine him being like Radigan. The thing is that K. Rule is so wildly different in all of his games, it kind of takes some creative liberty. Oh my god, that movie, yo, it talks remembers it. The arena music choice is terrifying. What's the arena music? I forgot. I don't know, I have no audio. Is it in is it environmental noises? Because it might be environmental noises. Maybe it's one of the 12 jungle hijinks remixes. Wait, what's what's the name of the track? The actual name? They call it Jungle Level, even though the name of the song is Jungle Hijinks. Even after they were like, we're going to just call these things the correct names now. Except they, they still didn't. They still call it jungle level. Oh, it is environmental noises. Okay, well, Illitox has a very scary uh, Bayonetta, so this probably won't end well with my silly not, gunner pocket. It's not scary, it's just red. It's, you're right, I'm sorry. It's Dante, not Bayonetta. <laughs> it's actually Jean. It looks pretty scary, what with that 9% they just did. To this day, I can't wrap my head around Bayonetta's recovery, even though it's been explained to me. It's bugged. No, it's a feature. Well, yeah. But essentially, it's just a, the result of a bug that allows her to jump more than she should be able to. <laughs> 
Good, get him out of here. Teach him never to play Gunner again. <laughs> Her smashes have a weird priority property in that they can't be interrupted, but if they clank with something, she has to finish the animation, but the, end, the other person can just go on through. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to meme! You can't meme. No memeage. The pummel. The slap. Bet you were wishing, uh. <laughs> Bet you were wishing you were still playing, uh. I, I would know, prefer D rule. Bowser, Ganon. Any of my top three would be fine. You know what? I'm gonna go for Diddy. I'll never expect it. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> nope, don't tell anybody, especially not the whole stream that just saw me picking. Oh, thanks, Salem. You streamed Guarded Phone, right? Yeah, every so often. I still mm. haven't gotten around to getting a group for that. <laughs> Why did they put a song that's not from Pikmin 1? What do you mean? Do you mean I know Uta? Why would they not have songs from other Pikmin games? Yeah, I, I don't know what the question really means. I think he I think he means I know Uta because I know Uta isn't actually in the game. But the thing is I know Uta was such an important song for Pikmin that I, they couldn't add it. A remix would be nice though. Also shares a name with Infinity plus other Japanese songs. Really? Yeah. I didn't it, know that. It means love song. Oh. Or song of love. Well, that went about as expected. Wow. You lost to a tree. Wow, it's The Salem from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. What witty retorts will he have for us today? Aren't they doing, like, a Envi reboot of that? Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. Environmental Noises is not from Pikmin 1. I mean, sure, but it's, it's like, it fits Pikmin. Probably not with, like, a, a obvious stuffed prop Salem, if they do a reboot. Oh, yeah, Salem would be CG if they did it again. What was I always that forget on? that Sabrina was originally an Archie comic character. Yeah, it was that, and then it was a live-action show, and then it was a cartoon. I remember the, sh the live-action show the most. Yeah, I think that aired the most. Weren't they both on, like, uh, ABC? It wasn't a Disney Channel Maybe? thing, was it? No, I, don't, I remember Sabrina the Teenage Witch was on Toon Disney. Well, screw it. Add her to the roster. No, but it doesn't belong to Disney. I googled it. People also ask, why did Hilda and Zelda leave Sabrina? What? There was a family breakup? Their names were Hilda and Zelda? Yeah. You mean like in, like in Zelda. Zelda? Do you think they did on purpose? Hilda and Zelda from Link Between Worlds? At the end of the sixth season, she gives up her maturity in order for Sabrina to be changed back to flesh and blood after being turned into stone when she lost her true loves. What is this Twilight shit? I don't remember any of that. This is real life, dude. They just, yeah, they just leave the show after a point, I guess, in the live action series. At least Salem's there. Always have Salem.
Huh. The voice actress of the animated Sabrina was the younger sister of the live-action actress. Well, I suppose that's probably why they chose her. Series ran on ABC, also owned by Dis Disney. So yeah, at a later point, they probably reran it on a Disney channel. Nice. Oh my gosh. I missed the spectatorship for this match. Describe what's happening. Uh, I might win. Never mind. I hit the stage. If I didn't decide to chase off stage to try to spike it, I would have been able to win. But because Diddy's, uh, Diddy's jetpack has to explode when he touches the wall. Who's I for Gore? I, f I, I don't know. I recognize <laughs> that icon. Maybe well, they've been on the my stream before. Isn't that the most flippin' strangest, most complicated series logo there is? It's literally the entirety of Dracula's castle. Yeah. What did they use for the Kingdom Hearts logo? The crown. Okay, that's right. They don't have the whole complicated, like, four-pronged heart. heart. Yeah. No Mickey Mouse head. Amazingly. Can't imagine why they don't have that. Well, they already paid a billion dollars to use the uh, Mickey Mouse emblem on the Keyblade. Honestly, I was a little surprised they even had that. I was expecting it to not be there. Yeah. Like, I get you had to nerf Diddy's air game from Smash 4 because he was really oppressive early on. But by the end of Smash 4, he was fine. I don't know why they kept nerfing it. His, his jetpack was horrible at launch. It got a little better, but it's still bad. It needs to not explode if I touch the bottom of the stage. Because even if you're just trying to use it to slide, you'll still blow up, and it sucks. Wasn't he still, like, top five at the end of Four's Life? He was pretty good at the end of Four's Life. I don't think top five. I'm pretty sure... Uh, let's see. The top five, I'm thinking, like, Bayonetta. You got, like, Marth. Let me check the last tier Marth. list. Smash 4 tier. Yeah, I know Marth was good in Smash 4. I was saying Cloud, but he was... He got nerfed, substantially. He was mostly good in doubles by the end. What was the last tier list? Okay. Oh, never mind. In S tier was Bayo, Cloud, and Diddy. <laughs> yeah. And then Sheik, Rosalina, Zero Suit Samus, uh, Fox, and Sonic. Mario, Mewtwo, Marth, and Ryu. The Miis were unranked because of how much of a pain they were to deal with. Yeah, there's also... They could have run with the... Some places allowed the, the guest Miis with their standardized weights. The, but, problem uh, with the, the problem with the Miis is that you couldn't use them online, so most people had no reasonable way to practice them. Yeah. Not that online was any means of practice anyway, but... No, but it was better than nothing for most people. The Miis really felt like an afterthought in Smash 4. Nobody played them. Well, no one was allowed to play them in competitive. Well, I mean, even in general. Like, I don't really know anybody who played Miis casually, like in parties or anything. There was a, fair, there was a fairly long narrative about uh, Miis not being allowed for not a lot of good reasons in competitive Smash 4. Like, there mm -hmm. were ways to make them work, but uh, it was also the context of the 
the custom move system. Like, people didn't really connect oh. that the Miis were built around it and needed the custom moves, so... A lot of places Same required... This, that was the other problem, custom moves. They were not very well thought out. On many characters, they were outright broken. But on Palutena, she pretty much needed them. Yeah, I think... And you, Palutena you and the Miis both should have had them allowed for competitive use, but... Uh, if I remember correctly, Miis were able to have their full move sets with customs turned off, but Palu was not in-game. Yeah. It was a very strange and arbitrary condition... Con setting. I don't even know why Palutena was given hers from the start to begin with. Like, why her specifically? To show off the feature, I'm sure. Yeah, but I, I suppose, but that's banking on people, like, randomly checking out custom moves and seeing Palutena. Instead of just going to Mario and Luigi and then being like, oh, I don't have any. It was her gimmick. Her, right? Every every character needs a gimmick, you know that. I didn't even get all of DK's moves. I didn't care. Nobody cared. I loved That's custom. The I loved custom moves. I unlocked every single one. They were busted, though. They were busted, like, but they were a they lot were... of fun for casual. They straight up just didn't work on some cases, or others were way too strong. I wish I got the chance to try Wind Kong, to be honest. And it brought DK to a whole higher tier of existence. Ah, oh, the bear! Still alive. Ah, oh, that should have broke shield! Yeah, well, it didn't. I can still get this. Come here. Ah! I got shot! That was a risk. That was a dumb move. You fool. I have 70 alternative accounts. Ganon in G tier along with Zelda, Jigglypuff, and DDD at the end of Smash 4's life. I reckon DDD should have his Kirby right back at your voice. That would be funny, wouldn't it? And King K. Rule should sound like the cartoon version. <laughs> Donkey Kong will finally bring me his golden bananas and his crystal coconuts. And then I'll spike him off stage. <laughs> It'll be genius. It's like he was just so tickled pink with absolutely everything he was saying. And then you got... You got Clump. Oh, he was always like, oh, oh, I know. I'm going to hit him. And then, basically everybody was an idiot, but Clump was especially an idiot. When I did that watch uh, uh, on stream of some DKC episodes, I was surprised that Clump was like the character who had the most uh, character development. Yeah. He had two... Both of his own uh, episodes are, like, great because they focus on him. Like, there was an episode where he got fired by K. Rule, and out of options, he moved in with the Kongs and legitimately tried to be a good person and fix for the better. Um, and then K. Rule was like, what? He's living with them? And then he planned on using him as an out, and when they found out, they... They kicked him out, but he still stayed friends with Dixie even after the fact. Although, no other episodes remain that, but it's just a very nice story. Yeah. That, like, is very surprising in a show like that. Those and then the other one was uh, basically a Christmas episode, and Clump realizes that he doesn't have any family. And so the whole episode, he's trying to, like, figure out what happened to his family and where it all went. Then it turns out he's, like, the brother of Captain Scurvy. So he did not turn out to be raised by a blue yeti. No, no blue yeti. There was a Shaolin. Kinda, Go on. Uh, DK kind of sucked as a protagonist. Yeah. Like, they made him really unlikable. Every single time he's talking to Candy, it's always like, Candy, I'm going to go do something real stupid in the woods with Diddy. And then, and then, like, Candy would be like, I'm breaking up with you and going with Bluster for, like, the fifth time. It was hip to have two cool protagonists. 
Who was the second cool protagonist, Bluster? I was gonna say, uh, Shaolin Showdown had an episode with the villain reformation kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Or attempted villain reformation. Steven Universe did that, like, all the time. Well, it was more a plot point than... <laughs> a villain deciding, hey, I want to join you and be a good guy. Oh, great. There was a spin-off to the animated Sabrina series? Did not know that. Which was itself a spin-off of the live-action one. Wikipedia has a whole list of animated spin-offs of live-action sitcom sitcoms. family, Alf. There was a... Oh, they did a Brady Bunch kids cartoon? Not surprised. That was the hip thing for a while, is to take properties and have a, a cartoon version with kid version of the characters. I don't know why people say Pitt is honest. There's a lot of things there that are not honest. Yeah. This will be good for you. Tox, do you know who this is? Maybe it's just someone Ganon? who wandered in. Oh. No, it's I probably just somebody who wandered in. Yeah, I think Tox is familiar with Ganon. Wow, that was uh, one-sided. Yeah. Usually people like this don't say anything until they either lose or they get a stage they don't like, and then they complain. Yeah? Is that your prediction? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't happen every time, but, like, when they do, that's usually what happens. One at wow, least. Straight up rolled into that. I was waiting for him too. Can I get a shield break? Gotta get his habits, that's all. Wow. Well, you could turn this around. Man, if only I could still, uh... If only I could still Ganon inside at same stock, but I can't. Yeah. That was an F smash. Thought it D smashed. It 
you I'm can switch stage to tech consistently, but don't SDI. I learned what SDI is. I'll, I'll start doing it. Eventually. I was forced to start SDIing against uh, Kazuya with his, uh, his 10 hit combo, but I didn't know the you could do it by wiggling the stick. Yeah. Oh, I didn't make it into oh. that? I almost never do it. Hey, it'll, <laughs> Tok's also playing Ganon. Yeah. She is uh, a little bit better than I am. Well, let's see what happens. kind of want a meme, but I can't against this guy. I, I have to go back to Bowser, I think. Yeah. You know what? Sora's no. going to be good against DK, Dragonite. Like, it, he's just going to dominate again. Another character that kills DK. whoop de flippin do Another you know? anime swordsman. <laughs> it's a key. It's not a sword. It's, well, I'm fine with it. <laughs> no, we're, we're talking about Saturday morning cartoons. I won't go Bowser. I'll go King Koopa. Curse those plumbers. I can't do the voice right. This is basically just a slightly lower Mario. He also was kind of Brooklyn, King Koopa. You're right. It's funny how long they kept that design for him, well past the point when everybody knew that's not what Bowser looked like. You know, because, like, you could make a case for it back when the only games were Mario 1 and Mario 2. But by the time we got to Mario 3, no, we got Bowser. We know what he looks like. He says, yo. Did he also look like that in the Mario World cartoon? He did. They didn't change the designs for anybody in the Mario World cartoon. The only thing they really did change was that they removed Toad. Peach just lives in Dinosaur World in that cartoon. I just... like I like that incarnation of Toad, the little swarthy dude. Mm-hmm. He's also got kind of a... Everybody had kind of a Brooklyn accent except for Peach. Darian thinks it would really benefit the stream if someone used a Belmont. Unfortunately, I can't yeah, neither can I. And Goji's not here. He's our, he's our local Belmont main. Yeah, but then I'd have to fight a Belmont. If I can beat I Forgore, if I can get a match on him, I'll give I'll give you a, a bad Belmont exhibition. Have you watched the Castlevania anime? No, not really. It doesn't really seem like my kind of thing. Yeah. I uh I I uh I like Castlevania enough, but like the only like pretty castle, you know, when they started turning everybody into pretty boys, the only one I really played of those was Symphony of the Night. Yeah. It's uh Ayami Kojima is the artist in that style, which Darian mm -hmm. really likes her. That's another Kojima. There is another I've Kojima it, with Konami, I've, yes. I've had too many Kojimas. I like, I prefer Simon's Conan the Barbarian look, to be honest. Oh, yeah. And I think a lot of other people did too, which is why they went with it for Smash. Like, I really think that Symphony of the Night Richter looks bad. Yeah. Like, they, they took all of his, like, anime-esque look to him that he had in the Rondo of Blood artwork and turned him into a pirate. Was that the first game he was in? Yeah. I don't know enough about the characters. I just like the, the Barbarian Simon because it's more unique and in the Smash roster. Yeah. We got a lot of um, anime pretty boys. So Richter... So Rondo of Blood was Japanese exclusive and it was on the PC engine, so the TurboGrafx-16 uh, in America. It never came out over here um, until the PS, like, P version did. Um, and then... Uh, uh, and the cutscenes were all animated, more or less. 
and they had voice acting and everything like that. And all the artwork for the game was like super 90s anime art style. I think I've seen images of the Rondo artwork. He had like, and then one of the, it's so anime that there's like even a picture of him and Maria using like, like they're in a band and he's playing guitar. Talk says she got him. Yeah, uh, she did. Oh, he left. He left. He wasn't happy with that. See, what did I tell you? Too many Ganons, too many Ganons. And one Kong amongst them. Well, now I could switch to Belmont, but I'm spectating the match. I'm going to take a wild guess at the victor of this match, and uh, wish you luck, Mr. Nick. Then again, I fight your DK constantly. Maybe Tox doesn't have as much Donkey Kong experience. Oh, the reverse edge guard! Why didn't my hand slap kill, though? His grab range is pretty, uh, pretty big. Kojima went back to the barbarian design after nearly 20 years. When did, uh, when did she draw it? Like, for what game? Oh, no, okay, she's fine. Wow, that killed? Bear is one of Ganon's best, like, kill options. It's just got a pretty small hitbox, and I'm not good enough to use it to its potential. Ugh, I wanted to roll back. Richter and Rondo just always looked like a blue Ryu to me. Says chat. Mm -hmm. Ugh. It's a shame DK doesn't have his voice, because then it'd be two voice actor, two characters with the same voice actor fighting each other. You mean the cartoon voice, obviously. I mean, he could sing at the end of every episode, every match. No, no. Ganon and DK have the same voice. Ready? Yeah, I know. I was, I was making a joke. I know, and I shot it down. Uh, you don't have to switch, Illatox. If you want to switch after winning a bunch, it'd be nice, just so we can get more matches in. It's a very small arena that, today. We don't have that much time today anyway. Oh, no. Okay, I'm fine. I don't know that I've... I think I dittoed Illatox's Ganon once. I don't know that I've ever Bowsered it. She usually just sticks to Bayo. Bayonaise. Mm. Oh, come on! I had armor! Yeah. Not, Not armor much. enough. He's a phantom. Sorry, I don't know. What, what is this song? Oh, that's right. This is the flippin' Pictionary music that goes so super hard. That was for no for reason. Me. Oh, man. You're making a lot of dumb, dumb decisions today, aren't you? It's okay. I can fix it by suddenly being good, like I'm about to. Just you watch. Okay. <laughs> Come on, whiz kick in. You know you want to. Ah, I'm really inconsistent with that anymore. I used to get that jump up to grab all the time. 
It's because you were too busy trying to figure out how Lucy Loud works. Is that how it worked? <laughs> Armor there we means go. nothing against Ganon. Nor do shields. Can't even Bowser side anymore. I was gonna do that, even it up again. She can Ganon side though, I gotta watch for that. I'm not supposed to have to worry about that. That's my thing. Well, too bad. Zelrog, the guy who believes he's the only Ganon main. <laughs> okay, 25-0. Oh, really? If you could do that again, that would be great. Well, just you... I'm suddenly good, remember? We talked about this. <laughs> you can see yeah. it on your screen right now. Hey, Kongus. Look how good I am! <laughs> yes! Oh, oh no. she dropped it! No shield break. I missed the ledge. You fool. I will show you how it is done. Watch me. Oh, it's for the mobile for the mobile game, Grimoire of Souls. Kojima redrew. Uh, did she do all the artwork for that game, Darian? I don't know. You don't have to switch talks. I had Bowser so that I could uh, hopefully defeat Forgore Man, but uh, he's gone, so I, I will give you your Belmont loss. If you want to switch back, you could let Nick beat my Belmont. No dogs today. Me? Yeah. I'm still in my grandma's house. Oh, I didn't know. I, I haven't gonna, been gonna... in the Smash streams for weeks. So how much longer are we going? You think till the end of the hour? Oh, I have like... I have like seven minutes left by my time. Well, it sounds like we'll have just enough time for that, uh, that Belmont exhibition. Whoever it's against. How's Bear for, uh, Edge Garden? Jeez Louise, why did that kill? Bear's pretty good. You just need to be able to place it right. stage for stage spiking. You said there's like a very specific spot he can do it on this stage, right? Yeah. Son of a gun. I was expecting- I didn't want to go through. Alright, so we got enough time for two matches for me. I gotta start moving all this computer stuff out of my grandma's house because today was the last day. 
<sighs> Leather Club fight. Is that leather? Looks like a lot more steel. I mean, you know what? That is leather. Unlike the breastplate. Actually, you probably could convince me that this Ganondorf is from Castlevania. Actually, you could probably tell people this is Dracula and you wouldn't get too many weird looks. It's just a different artist's design. You know, there's a lot of Castlevania artists. Yeah. I wonder who the artist of the... Oh, we do have an open arena, Magdil, but we only have enough time for two more matches today. Sorry, you came right at the end. I wonder who the artist of the first game's box art was. Probably... Uh, well, it, Japanese or American. Isn't that the same they for both to that one? Oh, maybe it is. Hold on. Castlevania Japanese box art. Uh, it is. Yeah, it is. Tom DeBoy. But it looks different. Like they edited it slightly different. The American box art is zoomed in farther to make room for the giant, the giant gray Konami border. Gotta make real sure them Americans know who made it. Yeah. <laughs> Made Simon's whip look lay way longer than it does in game. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I really didn't like uh, the redesign of Simon with the red hair. You're telling me a man who lived in the 1600s, there's the, the, like the 1400s, dressed like that? I think there were actually two red-haired Simons. One of them was by the Death Note artist. Yes. Which is the worst offender of the two. Yeah. Get her down to one. I believe. Mine is a whip that will pierce the heavens. Maybe. Why did I... <sighs> well, there was your Belmont match. Hope you enjoyed it. You know what, Nick? I'm going to give you a choice. Well, no, we got ulti here. Yeah, so we have enough just for one more match from me, and whoever wins gets to fight ulti, and that's the end. Talk said she was just going to watch. She's not going to watch. She wants another DK match. I don't, do, do, do your match, Talks. If she wins, I don't think Alti's ever fought her, so that'll be a new match. Yeah. Just uh, don't up be a neutral. Okay, great. Oh, also great. My hands just do nothing, apparently. Best version of red-haired Simon was in Lords of Shadow. That's right, there was like a big, buff, bearded, Scottish red-haired Simon at one point. 
I only know that because that design was referenced in that webcomic. The manly guys doing manly things. I'm really glad that... Oh. Do you think you'd be having a better time with Stimpy? No, you're too late, Alt. You're not too late, Alt. You've got enough time for one match. Son of a gun! I don't know why I can't get any hits. Like, I'm trying to go for grabs now because always shielding, but now it's never shielding! So what's the deal? Look, I'm gonna go for this, and then they're gonna avoid it, and then I'm gonna go for a grab, and then they're gonna just not be... Oh. What's the counterplay? What do I do against this person? Remember the wise cranky advice. Get good. No. No! I didn't want to... I don't know what to do. Well, last match. Let's see if Alti can take her. Yeah. Hopefully he's got his main out. He mains Falcon, he right? Yes. Fight! Ready? Fight! Father and son! Got that string. Oh, and the spike! Ganon has like two combos, and he, he shares at least one of them with Fa with Falcon. They just got that dethrow near bread and butter. Ganons keep getting away with that. The up special on shield? Yeah. Like, why doesn't Ganon suck enough to the point where I can beat him? Ooh. Makes it back. 43 to 0. Oh, jeez, I cannot read Korean. Where did that come from? Somebody followed and their name is all in Korean. Well, thank you anyways. He had a good right. string going, but lost, uh, lost advantage. Yeah. It was a good match to end on. Yeah. You, you sound done. Me? Oh, I'm tired. And I'm also invested in this. Come on, ulti. I'm no bias. Oh, I'm very biased. I always root for the underdog. He did it, but it wasn't enough. No!
getting all these little hits with the up B on oh, shields. There it is. Wow. Ulti did it. Well, that was the last match. Great. Okay, so next week we're going to start grabbed by the ghoulies. Not for Zellrog, though. I don't know what Zellrog's doing. He could oh. be starting uh, Hello Kitty Kart Racers for all I care. I will start Hello Kitty Kart Racer. I'll just uh, I'll end the call, and I'll see you guys later. All right. I'll see you guys later as well. Have yourselves a very good night. And that's it for me as well. Let me put up my end screen. Boy, that was a meaty stream. Nasby, yes, I'm calling it that. You can't stop me. Into Smash. I, guess, I don't know if I'll play more Nasby, if uh, I'll recommend it for Jack or not. It's very... I, I didn't learn how to play it after an hour and a half. I'm going to need a lot more time with that game if I'm going to do anything with it. Smash was fun. I'm glad I was able to join. Uh, have Wickersham join me for both. Uh, I'll see if we can stream something this weekend, maybe with Jack. Don't know yet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.